Hello friends in this episode we are going to talk about liquidity risk management uh, in banks why we have chosen this uh, particular uh, topic is because of its rising importance now we have seen five distinct shifts as far as uh, the economy is concerned the economy has shifted from uh, easy money policy to dear money interest rates which were going down have started rising now so the repo rates which were going down which were brought down to 4% during the pandemic times has become now 4.4% and it is expected to go up further to fight inflationary forces the focus is also shifted from growth to inflation now when we are talking about inflation focus it doesn't mean that we lose focus on the growth trajectory growth is also equally important but while taking care of the inflation elevation so that is to be tackled now the credit growth which was at 5.7% has started rising and has now entered a double digit growth of 11.9% and as far as the deposits have uh, are concerned they have started falling from 12.3% to 9.7% so credit growth rising on one side and deposit growth falling on the other side and liquidity being absorbed by the reserve bank of india these three forces have started exerting lot of pressure on the liquidity of the banking system and banks have to be much more agile in managing the risks that commensurate with the liquidity position in the uh, system and uh, uh, now liquidity risk is managed from uh, two uh, uh, areas one is the treasury function treasury takes care of near term liquidity in the system that is uh, the uh, it will be managing the market risk uh, by using the different kinds of tools that are available to raise the to raise the funds from the market and to meet the requirements of uh, liquidity uh, but more important uh, as far as the liquidity risk management is concerned is to augment uh, deposits uh, in the banking system the worrying factor is the fall in deposit growth and uh, if the deposit growth falls then the uh, resources which will be at the command of the bank will be depleting and that will affect the credit offtake and credit offtake is very very important uh, in a situation when there is a demand for credit and the entire economy is galvanizing to go back to the pre pandemic level and to catch up with the growth trajectory that was lost in the last 2 years so in this situation what banks have to do now uh, as far as the treasury function is concerned uh, the near term uh, to, uh, fund management uh, has to be taken care by using the various uh, uh, borrowing and uh, deployment strategies uh, are concerned but more important is the long term perspectives of resource management that is the uh, mix of liabilities that is mix of deposits that are mobilized at the uh, branch levels of banks and this brings to focus the importance of current account and savings deposits and also the term deposits now uh, of late the term deposit rates have started rising in many of the banks and more so after rbi has intervened on 4th of may by raising the interest rates so as a result of which many of the banks have gone for increasing the deposit interest rates and also the lending rates that is the mclr that is marginal cost of fund based lending rates uh, they have also been increased uh, because the uh, banks are Uh, trying to manage the liquidity uh, to the uh, best of its possibility by cost efficient measures now uh, the most important segment of resources 
comes from deposits and deposits which were rising till now have started falling and uh, credit has started rising so as a result of which the banks will have to focus on four things which are very very important first is the customer service at the branches so that the unremunerative accounts the number of unremunerative accounts comes down we the banks may be having a large segment of customer base but unless the business flows through the uh, these uh, branches uh, it will not be um, possible to uh, go for um, resource raising resource raising happens at the branch level and customer service is very very important the second aspect is the operational efficiency of uh, digital infrastructure that is the atms and uh, the internet banking the mobile banking and the service of uh, otps and uh, pos terminals how they are working these are the some of the uh, efficient management of infrastructure that's very very important so first is customer service second is the operational efficiency of uh, digital infrastructure the third aspect which is much more important is the uh, attempt to simplify the kyc documentation and how to use the contactless mode to meet the uh, kyc needs so that uh, the customers do not feel uh, the stress of uh, complying with the requirements of the banks and the fourth point which is very very important uh, is alignment of interest rates with the different kinds of deposit products that the banks are having uh, like uh, we have a one year deposit we have one year to three year deposits we have savings bank we have current account we have short deposits now how to align the interest rates according to the gaps that are arising in the liquidity management one has to uh, take care of that aspect and align the interest rates with the products and the requirements of the customers and the uh, uh, fourth point that is very essential is to ensure that the branch people are made aware about the pain points in the liquidity risk management because they are the people who will be augmenting the resources unless they are aware about the complexities of the risk management uh, it will be very difficult for the uh, bank at its corporate office to uh, service the uh, alm requirements and finally uh, the uh, fifth and the last point that is required is uh, a coordination between the line management and the corporate management in managing the uh, liquidity and uh, to be very agile as far as um, taking quick actions are concerned and uh, various products and services need to be um, uh, used uh, at the point where it is required uh, so the sum and substance of liquidity risk management is uh, not only to Uh, galvanize the efficiency of the treasury functions in the uh, branch but also to ensure that the deposit mobilization and the infrastructure which is required for the purpose uh, is uh, also made more efficient and little time is to be uh, given to the customers to uh, give them the comfort about the cyber security uh, aspects so that they are assured of Uh, safety and soundness of the digital infrastructure particularly when banks are going to open digital banking units very soon so uh, how the digital literacy and financial literacy is coordinated at the branch how more and more customers are attracted towards that and how the bank is able to use uh, the uh, base of the customers and uh, make more accounts active and reduce the number of uh, dormant accounts at the branches all these will uh, combine together to enable the bank to manage 
the liquidity better and face the kind of uh, shift from easy money to dear money we will talk more about more important aspects that will be coming up uh, as the monetary policy unfolds in the meantime if you have any suggestions please put it in the, in the uh, feedback box and uh, 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 try to uh, share these uh, my videos and uh, thank you very much for watching the videos subscribe to it and uh, ensure that the knowledge dissemination takes place at a faster pace thank you very much see you in the next episode